Hi guys, it's been a little while since I did one of these videos, um, but I wanted to show you a couple things that I've been using that have helped our, our remote learning go a little bit more smoothly for me and my kids. The first thing was I did not have a space at my house to set up a really cute classroom. Um, I'm teaching from my bedroom. I've got a closet door and a bathroom door behind me. So I got a little bit creative and I made myself a virtual background where I could highlight different um, skills that we're working on. So I chose to put our current spelling words behind me, our sight words and our vocabulary words. So I wanna show you guys how I did this. So what I did was I just did a Google search for a chalkboard virtual background and found one that I liked. I can't find the exact one I use, so I'm gonna use this one instead. You wanna keep it simple when you're choosing your background and then you just drag it over to your desktop. Then the next thing, you can still be on this very same page, but I'm gonna go up to my grid and open up a Google slide. And I just need a blank slide. I want to make sure that the slide is completely blank and I'm gonna delete slide one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to background and I'm gonna choose the image that I just brought onto my desktop. So here it is. All right. And then all you have to do is draw some text boxes. And I would recommend filling the text box white. And if you would like to, you can put a border color around your text box so it pops a little bit. So maybe for this one, I'm gonna do a border color of gold because it kind of goes along with the lights. And you can even make it fancy. And then you can just type your information into your text box. Okay. When you're all done entering everything that you want, um, or you could even add, if you had taken pictures of posters from your classroom, you could put that picture onto your background. Um, what you're gonna do is I bring my cursor to the top corner and then I press on my keyboard, Command, Shift, Four, and then I drag over the background I just created, and it is gonna take a screenshot of it and send it right to my desktop. So here's the one that I made. What's nice about this is that as we learn more vocabulary words, I can very easily just add them to my list by making my text box bigger. When we're done with a unit, I can delete and start fresh. You do also want to make sure that you have a little bit of space on your background for you to be in the picture. So this blank space, that's where I kind of position myself. All right, so now getting our virtual background into Zoom. When you're in your meeting, you are going to go to your video icon and click that upward arrow, choose a virtual background, and then over here at the plus sign, you're gonna add an image. And here is that screenshot I took. I'm gonna open it. And now I have a new background. So now this is my virtual background, but I'm gonna go back to this one that I've been using for class this week. So there you have it. You can kind of get the hang of pointing to words that you have. If you have a green screen behind you, that makes your virtual background look even better. Um, but that was just my first tip for you guys.